Hello students, back after a long time. So today we're going to learn about, or I'm going to make you a little bit clearer about the principle of hydraulic machine. So why, what is the principle of hydraulic machine and where it is used, in construction of which machines it, is, it, it has been used. So you can see a figure there. I've drawn a hydraulic machine with two pistons, P1 and P2. The piston P1 is smaller, you can see there. Piston P2 is larger. Uh, I've considered two forces, F1 and F2, F1 in the piston P1, F2 in the piston P2 and you can see uh, the piston P1 is quite smaller so the smaller area is A1 and the larger area of piston P2 is A2. So I have written the same thing here a consider of hydraulic machine with two pistons P1 and P2 the force and area of piston P1 is F1 and A1 and piston P2 is A2 and F2 respectively so that is what is the clear. Now what you can see is from the Pascal's law, from the Pascal's law, what we have? We have pressure at both these of these pistons should be equal. Pressure should be equal. Now, pressure is given by the formula F1 by A1. Right? Force by area is the formula. So, at piston P1, at, at the piston P1, we have the formula F1 by A1. At the piston P2, we have the area F2 by A2. If you make slight correction to this statement, just changing the upper hand side, F1 goes in the place of A2 and A2 comes in here. We can get we can get A2 by A1 is equals to F2 by F1. Now this is our main uh, equation where from where we can conclude something. So if you see this clearly, I already told you in the beginning, you can see clearly here the area. A2 is quite larger than the area A1. So what we can say? We can say that if we take the ratio, if you take the ratio of A2 and A1, it comes greater than 1. So if this value is going to come greater than 1, then this value also should come greater than 1. Reason is they are equal. Right? So F2 by A2, F1 is also greater than 1. So for this value to exist, what we can say? force 2 should be larger than F1. The force applied in piston 2 should be larger than the force applied in piston 1. So due to this we can, we can conclude we can conclude that F2 is larger than F1 as their ratio is greater than or bigger than 1. And this is the principle of void machine. What does it conclude? The force in the piston 2 is larger than F1. So by applying a little force in the piston 1, you see the figure here, if you apply force in a piston in the point in the smaller piston, what happens? This force becomes multiplied by this hydraulic machine. This hydraulic machine will multiply the force you apply and you can do of work of uh, that requires higher force in the piston 2. So this principle is called the principle of hydraulic machine and it has been used in a number of machines you can see here a list of some machines now where the hydraulic machines is where the this principle has been used hydraulic machines right hydraulic press is, uh, it is and then there is hydraulic brakes it is often used in vehicles in um, in the construction of what this uh, what uh, scavators and more uh, then there are other as well, hydraulic lift, lift, hydraulic lift is there that is, that is used in the mechanics uh, sector for lifting the heavy vehicles. So that's all. Thank you, everyone. Bye.